All right guys, Chris here with Rack Up and Go, and today we're gonna to be going over a shore power unit specifically for off-grid use. We're gonna be taking into considerations when you might wanna use a shore power unit off-grid and try and give you an expectation of how long it's gonna run. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so we've got the Premier Products Gree eco cool unit here. This is a shore power unit, so it's gonna be running off the inverter and our eco flow system here. The reason I think this is a suitable unit for off-grid use is due to its efficiency. We ran it through our heat chamber tests. There's a link to that video down below. It performed surprisingly well. Um, ran for almost three hours, completely off-grid, and where we really see the efficiency of this unit is once it gets down to temperature, it begins to start cycling. And so it's only drawing that 800 watts, 850 watts, uh, around every six minutes or so, at least in the test that we were doing. So if you're using this product, um, you're more than likely gonna wanna use this if you are in a very hot climate. We're talking like Phoenix, Arizona, Death Valley, like places that are gonna be hot and that's primarily where you're gonna be using this. This unit's gonna have the power to keep the van cool. If your preferred comfort level is that 65 to 68 degrees and you like it really cold, you're gonna to wanna to be going towards a full shore power unit because this is actually going to be able to achieve those temperatures in those hot climates. The other benefit about this unit is it also has a heat pump. So, I mean, you travel up to the mountains and it's kind of cool in the mornings, 45, 40 degrees or something. You're gonna be able to, you know, chase that chill away with a heat pump in this unit. Another great feature I really like about this, at least with the non-ducted units, you get the remote control and there is a Wi-Fi app. So if you're running Starlink, you can connect this to your Starlink router. You can go out for a hike. Maybe the temperature starts to climb throughout the day. And as you start walking back, as long as you've got service, you can pull it up in your app, start cooling the van down an hour before you get there and you get back and your van is a perfect climate for when you return. Now, if you're one that likes to really customize your unit to like the color of the van, if you're really matchy matchy, this does come in white or black on the top. And then there's also the interior plenum is in black or white. So it's one of the nice things, not a lot of units, you, know, you get either the white option or the black option, but the interior plenum isn't necessarily matching. And so most of them, you know, it's just a plain white interior, but if you're really looking to kind of jazz it up a little bit, you can go, or stealth, stealth mode, I'd like to say, you can go with the black interior plenum. So it just kind of disappears on the ceiling. All right, let's power this thing up and take a look at some of the power draws. And then with the EcoFlow system, the console will actually kind of give us an idea of how long this thing will run. Now keep in mind, we're gonna be looking at the estimated time while this thing is running. And don't forget that this thing will kind of turn off once it gets to temperature and start cycling. So the time that you'll actually see on the screen will be a little bit longer than what it's presenting because it's gonna be basing that runtime off of that 800, 850 watts that it's gonna be drawing. All right, so we've got our unit wired in here into our distribution panel. I'm gonna quickly pop off the cover. So we've got our 12.2 Romex coming in here. We've got our load on the top, our neutral, and then our ground bar. And so our ground is obviously coming into the ground. We've got our neutral, our white wire here into position one, and then our load black wire coming in also into position one. And so that's gonna be this first breaker here. This is a 30 amp breaker. And then our AC output is on. And so we can cover this back up. We'll take our remote and we can power this unit on. We can start to get an idea of the power draw, which will show up on screen here. And our available time should adjust once this starts really starting to pull a current. Pulling some power here. Let's get that temperature down, force it to run. So this unit does have an inverter driven compressor. It is not completely variable speed, but it does have a bit of a slow soft start. So it's not gonna overdrive the inverter. This is capable of doing 3,600 Watts. Um, well within spec for this AC unit, which is currently pulling around 950 Watts. We're showing an available time of 10 hours and 34 minutes. So definitely enough to get you through a night of sleeping. Um, and this is a 10 kilowatt system. So we've got two five kilowatt hour batteries. You can see here, we're 
pretty much 99%, battery one sitting at 98%, battery two sitting at 99%, and 10 and a half hours is our expected runtime for this unit. Now, remember I did say, so this will cycle, so as this gets down to temperature, it will turn off, drawing essentially zero watts, and then as the temperature starts to drift back up, it'll turn back on again. And so this 10 and a half hours that we're seeing, or 10 hours and 40 minutes, will actually extend beyond that due to that cycling nature of this AC. So two of my favorite features on this unit is gonna be that Wi-Fi connectivity, and then also the remote. So to be able to just sit in bed, turn it on, turn it off, change the temperature, change the mode, um, you know, keeping this next to your bed. So if you wake up and it's a little chilly in the morning, you can easily switch this mode over to heating and run that heat pump for a short period of time just to warm the van up a little bit. And then you also have the app connectivity. So when you're not in the van and you don't have access to this remote or you're on your way back from a hike, a great way to pre-cool the interior space of the van and get it comfortable for when you get back and you're you know, all sweaty and everything. Or if you have pets in the van that maybe you're leaving behind for a short hike, you can actually turn this on and monitor and make sure, yeah, my van is set for 65, it's keeping it nice and cool. There's four, essentially four modes on this remote that you have access to. So by clicking the mode button, uh, you'll get you know, three little, what look like raindrops. That's actually a dehumidification mode. You can hit it again and it looks like a pinwheel, which I believe is turbo mode. And then we have what looks like a sunshine. So that's gonna be your heating mode. There is a fan mode. And then you have obviously the cooling mode, which is going to be the AC mode. With this, you can, like the van's on a very low speed right now. You can see we're drawing about 80 watts. I mean, it'll run this for four days. We can set temperature here. We can set fan speed, uh, LED. Yeah, there we go. We got the beep. The beep confirms that it is working. I think I was pointing this off into space and so it wasn't actually communicating. So you can hear the beep. That's an audible confirmation that it's doing everything you just told it to do. And we can power this off directly from the remote. We should see our power draw drop to zero watts. There we go. All right, so that sums up the GREE Eco Cool from Premier Products. This is gonna be a great unit if you're living in those hot areas. If you're still looking for an off-grid air conditioner, this will do it. Um, obviously, so we had this running said about 10 and a half hours, which is definitely enough time to get you through a night. You will probably have to replenish either through alternator charging or solar the following day. Um, and this is on a 10 kilowatt hour system. So I would say if you're running a 10 kilowatt hour system, you're living in one of those places where it's getting hot, it's 100 degrees plus, this is gonna be a great option, even when you're running it off grid due to the efficiency. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about the Premier Products Eco Cool, you can email us at customercare at rackupgo.com. Give us a call at 888 929 3149. And remember, life's an adventure, rack up and go.